This work is called Study for Seated Musicians for El Jaleo, currently located in the Harvard Art Museums. It's the embryonic stage of a final work for the painting El Jaleo by the American artist John Singer Sargent. El Jaleo was the first work of art I fell in love with when I moved to Cambridge. My best friend from Oklahoma came to visit me during my first semester at Harvard, and we stood in front of the final painting, located at the Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum in Boston, just immersed in its passion and dramatic interplay of light and shadow. We were speechless. So when the Harvard Art Museums gave me the chance, as a student, to examine John Singer Sargent's study for seated musicians for El Jaleo, I was overwhelmed. I felt as though I could actually visualize the bold and vivid brushwork of the painting itself. This close looking at the critical developmental stages of an art object is indispensable to me as an art historian. It lets me understand more clearly the artist's revisions, omissions, questions, and intentionality. Sargent studied under the French artist Carolus Duran, who urged him, as he did all his students, to study the Spanish painter Diego Velázquez. By 1879, just three years before Sargent undertook the studies for El Jaleo, he had traveled through Holland, Venice, and as we see here, Spain, to study their old masters. The work captures one of the most joyous and enrapturing experiences of being human, the moments we spend in communion with others through song and dance. El Jaleo essentially translates from the Spanish as uproar, and that's what Sargent portrays here in El Jaleo, with a visual language that borrows from Velázquez. So we look at the woman on the left, and that vibrating blur of black shadow behind her. It thrusts her physical presence forward and gives her gestures more immediacy, as well as the sensation of movement which catches your eye. The singing, clapping, strumming, and dancing figures are dazzling before the darkness of the background. Yet so much of the artwork's power that means a lot to me also comes from the humane sensitivity with which Sargent represented his subjects. Itinerant dancers like those portrayed in the painting were a marginalized minority in Spain in the late 19th century when El Jaleo was finished. But Sargent portrays them here as heroes, dignified through his use of monumental scale, not ridiculed in racialized caricature. As viewers, we have to contend with the resolute dignity and power of the starring woman dancer as she propels her body with an imposing confidence, presence, and grace.